Hello, my name is Joshua Brown from the interview training company, howtobecome.com. And in this presentation, I will teach you how to pass your electronics engineer interview. So if you have an interview coming up for any organization, then please make sure you watch this video from start to finish, because I'm going to help you to stand out and succeed. To achieve that goal, this is what I'll cover. I will start off by giving you a list of electronics engineer interview questions that I strongly recommend you prepare for. I'll then provide you with example high scoring answers to those questions to help you to succeed. Plus, I'll also make sure to give you some essential tips for passing your electronics engineer interview before finally telling you how you can instantly download these slides plus 25 great answers to electronics engineer interview questions in a PDF guide. And just very quickly, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I want to help you to pass your interview and I can only do that if you are subscribed. And please don't forget to hit that like button because this tells me you find these tutorials useful. Okay, let's take a look at that very first electronics engineer interview question to prepare for, which is tell me about yourself. Now this is a brilliant opportunity to get your interview off to a flying start and impress the hiring manager. You can be the standout candidate by focusing your answer on the following things. Number one, the skills and qualities that you have. Do not talk about your home life or your personal life unless it's relevant to the job role itself. Instead, focus on your experience and passion for working in the role and how you're going to add value to their company. That's really important. And a great way to do all of that is to make sure you stay study the job description and focus on telling the hiring manager how your skills are a perfect match to those skills that they require. So for example, if on the job description they state they're looking for someone who is analytical with great collaboration and team working skills, then throughout your electronics engineer interview answers, be sure to use those exact terms. Let's take a look at a brilliant top scoring answer to help you. Tell me about yourself. Thank you for inviting me to be interviewed for this position today. I've been passionate about electronics ever since I built my first FM radio kit when I was 14. I went on to earn my bachelor's in electronics engineering from university. During my academic years, I was fortunate to work on a few hands-on projects, including designing a low-power LOT device and a smart agriculture system, which was later patented. Professionally, I've spent the last three years working at my previous company as a junior electronics engineer. There, I was part of a team that revolutionized our approach to energy efficient circuit design, which led to a patent and a 20% decrease in power consumption across our product line. I'm highly skilled in circuit simulation software like LT Spice and proficient in programming languages such as C and Python, which I've used for both hardware testing and automation tasks. I'm particularly interested in this role because it focuses on renewable energy, which I believe is crucial for the future of technology. I'm a team player, love tackling challenging problems, and I'm always eager to learn the latest technologies to keep myself updated. I'm very excited about the possibility of contributing to your company, and I'm eager to bring my blend of creativity and technical expertise to your team. Wow, what a powerful way to kickstart your interview and be the standout candidate. Remember, by giving confident answers like this to that opening interview question, which may be phrased as introduce yourself, not only will you impress the hiring manager, but you'll also gain confidence in the rest of your answers to come. Okay, let's take a look at the next electronics engineering interview question, which is, can you describe a project where you had to troubleshoot a complex issue? Now, in your answer, make sure you pick an example that showcases not just your technical skills, but also your ability to problem solve, project manage, and collaborate with others. A great way to structure your answer to any behavioral interview question, and what I mean by that is any question that starts with, tell me about a time when, describe a situation when, explain to me a time when this happened, any question that starts like that is a behavioral interview question, and I recommend you structure your answer using the STAR method. Now the STAR method stands for this. You start off with S for situation. What was the situation you found yourself in? T is then for task. What was the task that needed to be carried out? A is for action. What action did you take to achieve the task? 
R is for result. What was the end result from your actions? Make sure it's always a positive end result. And finally, the final R is for reflection. What did you learn from the experience? That's a great way to summarize the skills, qualities, and experience you've gained from this experience. So let's take a look at a brilliant top scoring answer using the STAR method to this interview question. Can you describe a project where you had to troubleshoot a complex issue? At my previous job, I was working on an embedded system for a medical device. The system had to meet extremely stringent requirements for low latency and, and high reliability. Although initial tests were successful, we began experiencing intermittent failures and lags as we scaled the system to include more sensors. My task was to take the lead in identifying the root cause of the intermittent failures and lags which were unacceptable in a medical setting, and to come up with an effective solution. I first ruled out hardware bottlenecks through diagnostic tests. Then, I meticulously reviewed the firmware code and ran simulations to identify the issue. The problem was due to a combination of buffer overflows and inefficient memory handling. Collaborating with both hardware and software teams, I optimized the code and reconfigured some of the hardware settings. We utilized real-time operating system features to better manage task priorities and implemented circular buffers for efficient data handling. After implementing these changes, we conducted multiple stress tests under varying conditions. The system's latency and reliability improved dramatically, effectively resolving the issue that had jeopardized the project. This experience was a valuable lesson in systematic troubleshooting and the importance of cross-disciplinary collaboration. It also taught me to design systems with scalability in mind from the outset to avoid such issues in the future. Now don't go anywhere as I still have more interview questions and answers to give you, but when you're ready and if you want to, click that link in the top right hand corner. It will take you through to my website, howtobecome.com, where you can download my 25 electronics engineer interview questions and answers for all organizations to give you the edge in your interview, including the ones we're covering right now. Okay, here's the next practice question for you. What steps would you take to troubleshoot a non-functioning circuit? Now my advice is to concisely outline the steps in a systematic order. Again, the interviewer is seeking to determine not just your technical skills, but also your approach to problem solving and teamwork. So let's take a look at a great top scoring answer to help you. What steps would you take to troubleshoot a non-functioning circuit? My approach to troubleshooting a non-functioning circuit is systematic. I first conduct a visual inspection for obvious issues like burnt components or loose connections. If that looks fine, I then verify the power supply's functionality and output levels. After confirming the power source, I use tools like an oscilloscope to trace the signal through the circuit, identifying where it may be failing. Next, I focus on component level testing of resistors, capacitors and transistors to root out any faulty elements. If the circuit has programmable components, I also review the code to ensure it's executing as expected. Throughout this process, I keep detailed notes to assist with future troubleshooting or to share with my team. If I still haven't identified the issue, I consult the circuit schematics and possibly seek expert opinions. After identifying and fixing the problem, I conduct a final round of tests to confirm the circuit's functionality and reliability. This methodical approach streamlines the troubleshooting process, reducing both time and resources spent in finding a solution. Okay, the next electronics engineering interview question is, why should we hire you as an electronics engineer? Now, this is your chance to show the interviewer your best qualities, experience, and competence to carry out the role. You could say, for example, you have a proven track record of success and tell them what that success is. You could say you have technical experience relevant to the job role. Again, use the job description to match that relevant experience they require. Focus on your skills and qualities. Again, match it to the job description. And you could also say you have a passion for the company's values and their goals. Like I just said, make sure you match everything to the job description so you will come across as the perfect candidate for the job role. Let's take a look at a top scoring answer to help you. Why should we hire you as an electronics engineer? I bring a unique blend of passion, expertise, and hands-on experience to the table. 
From my early days of tinkering with radio kits to earning my engineering degree and working professionally, electronics has always been more than just a job for me. It's a calling. At my last position, I led a team that reduced energy consumption in our product line by 20% and we received a patent for the design. I'm not just technically skilled in areas like circuit design, simulation and programming languages like C and Python, I'm also a great collaborator and communicator. I've had the pleasure of leading cross-functional teams and mentoring junior engineers, helping them elevate their skills. I'm particularly excited about this role because it aligns perfectly with my interests in renewable energy. I'm confident that my enthusiasm and skill set would make me a valuable addition to your team and help drive your projects to success. Okay, let's move on to the next electronics engineer interview question, which is what makes a good electronics engineer? This question is asked to assess your capability to explain the fundamentals and techniques of an electronics engineer, such as having great technical ability, being able to communicate clearly to non-technical stakeholders, ability to be able to continuously learn. All of these things are essential to the role. Remember, a thoughtful response not only demonstrates your understanding of the importance of an electronics engineer, but it also shows your ability to successfully navigate challenging project environments. So let's take a look at a brilliant top scoring answer to help you. What makes a good electronics engineer? In my opinion, a good electronics engineer is someone who goes beyond just understanding the technical nuances of circuitry and components. It's about having a natural curiosity that drives you to understand not just the how, but also the why behind systems. A sense of creativity is crucial too, as engineering often involves thinking outside the box to develop innovative solutions. Teamwork plays a significant role. You're rarely working in a vacuum. Being able to communicate your ideas clearly to both technical and non-technical team members can make or break a project. Moreover, adaptability is key. The tech landscape is ever-changing and staying up to date with the latest tools, languages and mythologies is essential. Finally, attention to detail and a knack for problem solving can't be overlooked. Whether it's tracking down an elusive bug or optimising a circuit for efficiency, the devil is often in the details. So in summary, a good electronics engineer blends technical expertise, creativity, strong communication, adaptability and meticulous attention to detail. So the next thing to do if you want to get the full list of 25 electronics engineer interview questions and if you want to accelerate your learning even further to pass your interview at the first attempt is to please click that link right now in the top right hand corner of this video for two reasons. The first reason is that it will take you through to my website howtobecome.com where you can get all of those answers we just covered plus a total of 25 brilliant responses to electronics engineer interview questions. And secondly, the next reason is I've given you three smart questions to ask at the end of your electronics engineer interview on that page. It's a brilliant resource guaranteed to help you prepare effectively for your interview and also more importantly, put your ahead of the competition. Make sure you check out that link. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Please don't forget to subscribe as I'm on a mission to help as many people as possible pass their job interviews. And I can only do that if you are subscribed. Please also hit that like button as that encourages me to make more videos just like this one. If you have any questions regarding any specific job interview or company, then please do let me know the name of it in the comment section below where I'll get back to you. Oh, and please don't forget to connect to me on LinkedIn. I've put my LinkedIn link in the description below. It's always great to connect with like-minded professionals such as yourself. Thank you so much for watching. I wish you all the best with your electronics engineer interview. Have a brilliant day.